Hello, uh, welcome to this session. So, in the previous session, we looked at the reference spur which comes at the output because of the offset in the charge pump, right. Uh, then there is uh, another uh, uh, spur which comes because of the mismatch in the transition time, okay. So, what happens is as we have seen earlier that uh, during the lock uh, state, you have R and V pulse for the charge pump like this, assuming uh, they are in this manner and you have V pulse in this form. So, as we know your the up bar and down bar pulses are like this, up and down pulses are in this manner, but the up and down current because of the mismatch in the transition for up and down currents, you have I up slightly delayed normally because it is a PMOS and you have I down which is critically which works faster it is like this. So, your ICP current happens to be you can say something whatever that error is you have some current because of this and then here you have current like this okay. This is a very simple representation ideally you see that there is a variation here and variation here. So, it will not be that uh, like it will not look like a square wave you may see something kind of this. Okay, but I am approximating that with the square wave and even if it is not what you can do is you can always write the uh, Fourier series and you get different components. This is going to happen because of the mismatch in the transitions. So, uh, what is going to happen is because of this ICP current you will have a change in the control voltage. Okay. So, we control because of this the square portion is will be you apply your ICP like this. So, you will have a jump integration jump back okay. and then you are going to see a jump again integration and then jump back. Okay. So, on an average your V control voltage is uh, going to be equal to 0 ok. Uh, that is what in a steady state that should happen. So, whatever the uh, current mismatch you have between up and down that will average out. So, this is going to happen to V control. Now, again I am going to do the same thing. I am going to write this as V control P plus V control I and the spur is going to be dominated by V control Okay. This is V control per is dominated by V control P. Then uh, if you uh, if I would like to write it I can say this is like V control down plus V control up. Okay. V control P down and V control P up. So, one can write that V control P up is nothing but V control down shifted by whatever that overlap period you have you can say it is shifted by T overlap with a minus sign this period is T overlap is not it. It's T overlap it is shifted by minus sign. So, if I find the frequency content of if I go and figure out what is their V control up the coefficient of V control up or pre control down then the coefficient for V control up will be available by using this uh, relation. So, 
if I go and find V control down the Laplace transform for this V control down of S then V control up in Laplace can be written as uh, minus of V control down of S into E power minus S T over lap. Right. So, overall V control if you look at it which is V control P by the way this is all P here V control P is of S in Laplace domain is V control P of up plus V control P of down which is nothing but V control P of down into 1 minus e power minus s t overlap. If overlap period is quite a small then I can approximate e power minus s t as 1 minus s of t overlap right. So, this will effectively become v control p of down into s times t overlap. So, what you see here is that the control voltage is getting filtered extra is getting an extra filtering with respect to frequency. Okay. So, if it is at higher frequency your control voltage will get more amplified right. Now, this is whatever uh, V control P we are going to get you get this extra factor here uh, in contrast to the voltage which you got because of the current mismatch. Okay. So, that is uh, something extra to look at. Now, this uh, what we have done here is if you think about it uh, V control P we have uh, separated as V control down and V control up. By the way V control is appearing at every reference frequency. So, V control P is going to have a dominant component at the reference frequency okay. and uh, we just did the Laplace to get a simplified uh, frequency filtering for that and what you are going to see is that uh, it is going to get filtered by at omega r. Now, using the same anal analysis which we did uh, before for the charge pump mismatch you can find the spur at the output of the uh, PLL with V control P as the uh, as the cause for change in the reference is okay. Thank you.